What's up, YouTube? Today, I finally got the aluminum handles for the Kershaw Lucha. Uh, the Kershaw Lucha is about $120 Palasong, but it's made of steel. It's really heavy, and it's actually horrible for flipping. Like, it's actually terrible. When I first got it, I kind of liked it. And um, that's probably the only day I ever played with it. It's just obnoxiously heavy. And supposedly these, um, besides making it look really cool, will make it play a lot better. It comes with some steel washers. I also bought the upgraded ceramic bearings for $12. And this was from Flytanium.com. So let's get right into it. We'll get these installed and we'll see how much better she flips. Okay. I also bought some extra washers in case I lose one or wear, wear some out. Okay, they do look really nice. They're packaged quite nice. And they do come with a Flytanium sticker. Very cool. So very minimalist design. The only um, engraving is on one of the handles. They put the flytanium right there. Very, very cool. Freaking sweet. Okay, so um, yeah, let's take this one apart. And, uh... All right, it went together really, really easy, actually. Um, all I had to do was just stack everything up, slide them in, and uh, went on great. Uh, before we go over there and flip it, let me just show you. Just, uh, sounds great. It has that, uh, definitely has that bearing sound. Even just right now, it flips a million times better than the regular Lucha. Yeah, sounds great. Let's go where we got a little more room and actually give it a little flip. And uh, once again, that's the balance point on it there. The only markings I put it on the, I put it on the safe handle because I might put a marker on the bite handle. And I didn't want to cover it up with like a rubber band or something. All right, guys. So we got it right here. It is all set up, ready to rock and ready to roll. Now, first things first, this thing is absolutely massive. Um, when you compare it to a Max Ace Covenant, which is already a large battle song, it just dwarfs it in every stretch of um, the imagination. So this is like any bigger, I would say this thing is like a sword. Um, but no, it's uh, still very nice, very comfortable. At 4.6 ounces, the weight feels really nice. It actually feels lighter than that because it's so big, the weight is distributed more. Um, you'll notice that longer valleys, um, they can be a little heavier while still feeling light. Um, and this one, you know, 4.6, I wouldn't say that was that heavy, but the original Lucha at 5.9 felt like a massive, slow, you know, rock. And this is without a doubt, a huge, huge upgrade. Um, there are some things I don't like about it. Now there is no handle pattern or no hole pattern on here. Uh, and the anodization looks amazing, but it is quite slippery. Now, uh, off camera, I was trying to behind the eight ball and it kept just slipping out of my hand. So let me show you that. Let's see if I can land one. But on this pass, oh, that time I did it. But I kept, my hand keeps feeling like it's pulling off the handle when I do tricks like that. Um, you know, it just, when you're at low on the end of the handles, just feels really, really, really slippery. Um, the shape of it though, makes it quite nice for fanning type tricks. I still don't really know how to choker fan, but uh, I basically, any of the fan type tricks, you're gonna be able to get a nice spin, get a nice rotation. Just because the way everything is milled out, uh, you'll notice even on the ends here, hopefully my camera can focus on that, it, it's like beveled in every single way. Uh, and it's really, really nice. This is without a doubt a huge upgrade from the regular one, but it's definitely not the perfect product. Very, very cool. I like how it comes with so many different colors. Um, landing aerials on here are the most satisfying feeling thing in the world though. Uh, it is quite large, so if you're somebody that you do not like large battle songs, this will not be the modification for you. But um, you know, if you're somebody that you do like large battle songs or you want something unique, um, I've I have quite a few valleys. I don't have anything this big 
Um, it's quite like this. And I must say, it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm sure I'll get used to the no hole, uh, hole pattern and you know, just the, how smooth they're feeling and everything. But at first, definitely take it slow with this thing, especially if you have a really sharp edge like mine does. Um, that's one thing about my Kershaw Lucha. It came with a really, really, really good edge and really deadly tip. Uh, and it stayed like that uh, since I got it. I believe I got one of the first run ones. And uh, cool that now it's a little bit custom, you know, with these cool blue scales. So big fan of this. The the ceramic bearings, I actually think, dude, did help a lot too. They feel really nice. Um, they're just quiet. Uh, they run good. It just feels like really, really effortless. I have these cranked down too. I have them like cranked down so there's no handle play at all. Um, that's the one nice thing about bearings. And uh, yeah, really, really impressed with this. Still not the perfect belly. Wish the grip was a little better, but for being, you know, $95 on a knife that's only $115. It definitely feels more like a $300 battle saw, or you know, maybe even a little higher than that. So, very cool. Check it out, guys. Uh, everything here is made in America. So that's good. See you later.